If you're getting ready to implement a pricing solution, one of the most important areas to prepare is the data that you'll feed into your pricing software. Much like the gasoline you put in your car, the quality and type of data that you feed into your pricing software greatly determines how well the engine is gonna run. In this video, I'm gonna cover three pillars for success in preparing data for your pricing implementation. So at the end, you'll be ready to unlock high octane pricing performance. Hi, I'm Patrick Moorhead, the Chief Marketing Officer at PriceFX. After hundreds of successful pricing software implementations for our customers, we've learned that one thing matters more than anything else when it comes to aiming for success, data. Having clean, accurate, and accessible data to power up your pricing solution is a critical early stage threshold that getting right ensures success later on. We've identified three crucial pillars for data readiness for pricing software success. They are data identification, data quality, and data availability. Let's spend some time digging into each of those three pillars so you can understand exactly what's involved. Pillar number one, data identification. First things first, if you're gonna activate your data in a pricing software, you need to understand what data to activate. In order to answer that question, we recommend you map out your business process. Think of this as the specific steps your organization needs to take to accomplish a pricing process. This can be harder than it sounds. Sometimes processes are informal, like you walk down the hallway and ask a colleague for what you need. Other times, processes just aren't understood. The pricing team sends a request to accounting and accounting sends back information that the pricing team doesn't understand. It's complicated. Working out the step-by-step -step processes you'll need to activate in your pricing software will help you draw the map to the data you'll need to be successful. Now that you've got a grasp on the step-by-step -step process you'll be working with in your pricing software, you'll need to identify who owns the data that power those processes and where they store that data. This is another sounds easy kind of task, but consider this. In some companies, multiple departments own the same type of data. Some data may be possessed by several different departments, but there really is only one single source of truth. Also, don't assume that because data lives in one department, that the subject matter expert for that data also works in the same department. For example, the source of truth for sales transaction data may live in sales operations, but the subject matter expert for that data may work in marketing. Most ID departments have their own rules about who has what rights and can access what data inside the company. You'll need to account for your IT rules and process in sourcing your data. Gaining a clear and complete picture for your data sourcing efforts inside your company before you engage with a pricing software vendor is highly recommended. Although you can include your vendor in this process if they have experience and it will help you. Okay, so we've mapped out all of the business processes that we wanna be able to use inside of our pricing software and we've identified who owns the data and where that data is stored. Nice job. Now, the most critical part of data identification begins, mapping the specific inputs and outputs of your data into the business processes that you've identified so they can be implemented effectively in the solution. This can be a lengthy and complicated process. Depending on the business processes that you've identified, the data sets required to power those processes, who owns that data, and how accessible it is. This is where an experienced solution provider can be a huge asset to your project. Have a detailed conversation with your vendor about their experience in data readiness and the tools and solutions they may offer to help you. Pillar number two, data quality. Data is complicated by its very nature. Making sure that the data you plan to activate in your pricing software is accurate, complete, and consistent can take some effort. There's a lot that can go into a data quality effort, but some of the main areas to focus on are, how do different data sets interact? Online databases versus spreadsheets, for example. How do different data sets match up with each other? Common data mismatches can include date and time formats and even currency. Are there gaps within your data that could cause issues? Are there duplicate data sets that need to be merged and aligned? And are there discrete subsets of data within your data sets that need to be extracted and segmented? It's a complicated topic and much more than we can cover in this short video. But 
Once you've done the work to identify the data and processes you'll want to use in your pricing software, it's well worth the time investment to make sure that the data you'll actually use is consistent, accurate, and complete. Pillar number three, data availability. Data availability is all about the timeliness and accessibility of your data for your pricing solution. Can you get all the data you need? How regularly or frequently does that data change or update? In what sequence will the data updates occur if you're implementing more than one dependent data set in your solution? And what about offline data sources like siloed databases or even spreadsheets? These are all important questions to answer when understanding your data availability. In order to get those answers, we recommend following a three-step process. Step one, sample data. Use small, representative sample sets of data to make sure that everything's working the way you think it should within your solution. If it is, then you can move on to step two, full manual data. Manually pull and implement a complete set of data that you plan to use in your pricing solution. You're looking for errors, mismatches, system problems, or anything else that could cause a hiccup. If everything goes well, you can move on to step three, fully automated data. Connect all the systems and data together in real time. Ideally, taking the previous two steps will make sure that this step is working well. Being able to access the right data in a timely manner is crucial to a successful implementation. Delays in accessing data can cause significant problems with an implementation timeline. We had one client initiate a large implementation project for us before they consulted with their IT department about their data readiness. Everything was ready to roll when suddenly we learned we wouldn't be able to receive the data for an additional four to five months. Obviously, this caused a huge delay in the implementation timeline and a big problem in the budget. This shows how important confirming data availability for your pricing implementation is to the success of a project. All right, so at a high level, we've covered the three pillars involved in a successful pricing software implementation. Data identification, including sourcing and scoping, data quality, and data availability. Now, I can imagine you're probably asking yourself, so when should I get my pricing vendor involved in all of this? We recommend our customers get started on at least pillar one, data identification, sourcing, and scoping during their vendor evaluation process where they're selecting a pricing software provider. This will give you a great head start and allow you to really hit the ground running when you select a vendor and engage it on your implementation. You're probably also asking yourself, how long is this gonna take? Great question. Data readiness can take as little as six weeks or as long as six months, depending on how many data sets you're working with, how complex the data is, and what the quality of that data is. It's never too early to get started planning for data readiness if you're implementing pricing software. Now, you have a basic understanding of what you can do to prepare your data for a pricing software project, what some of the key areas to focus on are, and things to watch out for. If you wanna go deeper into data readiness, there is a detailed article on our learning center at priceeffects.com. And if you wanna learn how data readiness fits into the overall pricing software implementation, there's an article at our learning center on priceeffects.com called What Are the Phases of a Pricing Software Implementation? If you like this video, click like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our video content from PriceFX. Happy pricing. Thank you.